have you always been into fitness or are you just, this is a new thing for you? Cause I like that. Yeah. You're just like, I'm not just a gamer gamer. It's like, your goal is like, this is like the, this is just Melanie world. Right. It's going to be my workouts. It's going to be gaming. It's going to be just like your hosts. Like you do, mm -hmm. you do it all. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've tried to dabble into fitness for about three years now, but when I first tried, I was, um, mostly vegetarian. Um, and I was struggling. I was struggling to put on muscle. I couldn't do it. A and I didn't, I didn't really put two and two together for a while. And again, not knocking any vegetarians out there, but for me, it didn't work. Uh, I was just weak, frail, couldn't do anything. Um, and so I kind of just fell down a rabbit hole about, about like, diet and things oh like God. that and Ooh, discover I'm simping. I'm <laughs> simping so hard right now. This is goals. I'm at the gym today. Goals, but goals, yeah, goals. I, I, I stumbled on like the carnivore diet where people eat just meat basically. And I was like, whoa, this sounds crazy. This is against everything I've ever been taught my whole life. And I'm the type of person I love it when my world is turned upside down. So I was like, <laughs> let me give this a try. Gave it a try. I'm over two years <sighs> in that now. Oh, you tap. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this tap. Thank you. That's really and cute. yeah, and so with the whole fitness side of things, I had a campaign with the with the U.S. Marines, uh, that from last year. And so the what basically what they did was like, hey, we want to see we're we're gonna see where you're at physically and what you can do, and then we're gonna have our mentors like mentor you for four months and then you're going to come back and you're going to do all this cool marine stuff like Ooh. these assault runs shoot guns and like yeah just just try to try to live a day in the life or three days in the life of a marine essentially and so i took it super super serious because i grew up in a military family oh, wow. yeah there we go yeah there, this is vegetarian yeah and and now, so you're doing keto and a lot of meat and you yeah, it's mostly meat based. Like most of my diet wow. is just meat and I, my health has dramatically improved. I put on some muscle, uh, much needed. And so, yeah, uh, I, I took it really serious with the weightlifting and stuff like that. Stayed really strict on my, my meat based diet. Mm -hmm. And I feel like now I could run laps around even my 16 year old self and I'm 35 now. <laughs> so, yes! Yes. You look like a baby. Oh my Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. So I just, I, yeah, it, this whole fitness journey has been amazing. So even after the Marines campaign has been done, I've been keeping it up and I, I'm wow. trying to get Lara Croft shredded, like classic, awesome. classic Lara Croft shredded. I feel like I had a brief time where I did like two or three Spartan races and I was like, that's it. This is Chrissy boot camp. <laughs> it's over for you hoes. I, yeah. I, with the help of two dudes, I've climbed a wall. <laughs> right. That's kind of the Spartan races. Like at the end of the day, there's just some shit, like even a decently fit girl can't do like what mm -hmm. I loved about the Spartan races is like, yeah, the rope climbing, I did it basically all on my own. And then I would get to a wall and I'd be like, eh. <laughs> I'd literally just <laughs> look around and then a guy would show up and they'd be like, cool, they'd just toss me over it. And I thank yeah. God because I'd still be sitting there <laughs> if it weren't and they were cool about it. They weren't like, Ugh, yeah, you're so weak. It was fun. Right. But you gotta I, I really enjoyed I know it's like the stereotype like, you know, chick who does the uh like tough mutter or like spartan race uh -huh. on the side but it was it was really fun it's fun to like get dirty it's fun to oh, like yeah. test your uh your physical limits and stuff oh yeah i enjoyed that Ooh, from young pay remember we were told like five to six bread right? grains a day? yes right and that's kind of what opened my eyes to a lot of things um in general and what's what's wrong with the government <laughs> in general and the brainwashing that goes on is is I feel like that's kind of when I got like mm -hmm. red pilled, if you will, or whatever. It's just like, whoa, Red I completely, meat yeah, meat pilled because meat you know, <laughs> I've had, I've had Great. like hormonal issues, endometriosis, all that ever since I hit puberty and it, I've suffered with it. And then, so after three months of sticking with the meat based diet, then my symptoms were 80, like 80% 80 improved. Wow. And just they, like Michaela Peterson, like yes, so similar to her story. Exactly. And now I'm over two years into it. And now I'm like, Wow, the food pyramid is backwards. And that made me think, you know what? I'm Why not gonna trust, yeah. I'm not gonna trust anything the government tells me right now. I'm gonna look into it because I just learned for myself 
this way. Everything that I was following that they were saying to do, cut back on red meat, you know, mm -hmm. like eat mostly vegetables. Oh, that wasn't working for me, clearly. <laughs> and then you're not full and then you end up eating more junk. Exactly. Honestly, vegetarians. It, you're like, oh, I'm just going to have a, I had this college roommate. She's like, oh, she was on her high horse. I'm a vegetarian, but yeah. I would see her down. I would see day. her, I would see her annihilate a, a, yes. a freaking pint of port wine cheese every night. And again, this is college. <laughs> like none of us were eating healthy. And I'd be like, huh, oh, vegetarian, aren't you? You know? Well, That's just gross. look at animals in the wild. If you look at your herbivores, they're eating all freaking day, all day. And if you look at something like a carnivore, like a lion, they don't have to eat all day. They go get their meal and they're good. And it's the same way. You don't have to eat nearly as much now as you do if you're just eating all these like high carby or bunch of vegetables and all that, then you're going to need to eat all the time just to feel any sort of satiety. Yeah. Um, but then if you're just eating a steak, that'll last you a while. <laughs>